Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to take a look at Instacord and the expansions from WA Productions. Before we get started, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and deals just like this. All right, so today we're gonna to check out Instacord. Just a really brief look at what it is and what it does. So before we get started into this, you are going to get some expansions with this. So if you look here, you get a jazz and blues, R&B, future house, synth wave, future bass, lo-fi, hip hop, EDM, ambient and cinematic, side trance, and hard style. So you get a lot of different expansions to use with this plugin. So how it works is you're going to load up an instrument, and I've used contact here, a piano, and then we're going to load in Instagord. So drag that in here, and then we're going to make sure that our input for our instrument, which would be here, is going to come from Instacord. Now, how this plugin works is by default you can program in your own chords here and they will be assigned to key switches down here so you can switch between the chords like this and then hitting hitting those keys up there will actually play the chord in different variations um so if, for instance if we click this uh hit a single note just the bass note there or you can change it to hit all six or maybe strum up slow. So you can assign different actions or different ways of playing the chord or even the single notes to all these panels over here as well. So there are two columns that you'll be able to hit those and it'll play the chord. And then of course, if we go over here, we can select say C major, C minor, So it's an interesting way to learn chords and also learn new chords and also kind of help you out if you're in a rut um, with chord progressions and maybe to try some new things. You can load up, for instance, just, you know, a little preset here and it'll go through and play these different chords. There's also a cool thing, just hitting transpose and it'll, you know, go up or down an octave. Let me show you that real quick. So again, this is a fairly complex tool. Um, you can also import or kind of record your own custom chords, um, hitting MIDI learn, and then playing the different notes. You hit start and then say, and then hit save, and then we'll be able to replay that chord whenever um, it's now programmed into this key switch. So there are a few different things to do with it. Um, at its most basic, it's a tool to learn how to voice chords. So you're going to be able to learn, you know, new chord voicings, new chords, um, the names of the different notes and stuff like that. If you already know all that, it might just help you to get out of a rut um, with writing progressions and stuff like that. You can experiment with new things very easily just by clicking one of these or just, you know, using the transpose function that I was using earlier um, and looking at new chord voicings all across the keyboard. And as you 
you can see, we have a ton of different voicings and chord styles here um, from the most used major and minor to all of these different ones here. So it's a really fun way to kind of explore those as well, just by the click of a button. So that was a quick look at Instagord. Remember, you get all these different expansions as well, which are tailor-made for different genres. Um, I know it is a fairly complex plugin, so make sure to kind of look at the support in the manual and learn how to do the correct MIDI routing in your DAW of choice. I'm using Studio One. It's fairly simple just by clicking that um, your input in your instrument has to be from Instacord. So that was a quick look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know what you think in the comments. I know this wasn't as much of a fun one, as much as of a talking one, uh, how it works. But thanks for checking it out with me. I will see you guys next time.